Hi everyone, uh, my name is Emmanuel Mobodo. I'm a specialist biomedical scientist and I'm also a lecturer in biomedical science here in the UK. I completed my PhD in biomedical science. I have extensive experience working in NHS as a specialist biomedical scientist. And for many years, I've helped a number of people secure their dream job as a specialist biomedical scientist and also as a biomedical scientist. I'm here to help you to navigate through interview questions and thereby increase your chances of getting a job as a biomedical scientist. I ask that you like, share, comment, and subscribe our page. Thank you. Hello. So, um, anyway, today I'm just answering some questions, okay, that people have asked. And once again, I want to apologize to Sandra, you know, and then to for taking for this thing taking me long to answer your question. I was not ignoring you, okay? The basic thing was I wanted to make some more videos for people who have got interviews so that I really want you guys to hit the job, okay? You know, I know that the, the market is saturated and that is why when I make videos, I try to explain things in detail because if you explain things in details, it will be hard for the saturation of that market to elude you. Anyway, let's look at the question. You did ask me, you said high means self volume high mean cell volume but hemoglobin hematocrit and red blood cell are high what could be the indication again i understand the confusion here okay but to be honest if you have looked at my video on even if i didn't mention some of the things that i'm going to mention now on high mcv or high mch as the case may be there are a few information there when i was when i was even talking about anemia whether microcytic or macrocytic anemia but that's not the occasion here though i think i did mention something about red cell indices i want you to know when you talk about full blood count whether it is hemoglobin whether it is hematocrit whether it is red blood cell whether it is ru dw these things reflect red cell indices just put that here okay so they are all related so when you see any questions even if they are using one indication now they are using high mcv but hemoglobin hematocrit and red blood cell is high what does it mean let me tell you there are so many things this will mean but i'm going to tell you the first thing i would start thinking okay i'm sure you have heard the word polycythemia so polycythemia basically, basically means there's high red blood cells. What could make red blood cell to be high? Uh, like why? Why should red blood cell to be high? Now let's go back to the basic. When red blood cell is being high, that means the bone marrow is making a lot of red blood cells. Okay? And if the bone marrow is making a lot of red blood cells, what could make bone marrow to make a lot of red blood cells? Think about this. What it means then that there is no much oxygen so once there is oxygen deficiency in the system the red blood cells go the bone marrow will try to make more red blood cells okay so that can lead to the increase in the red blood cell therefore polycythemia are you getting me it could be one of the reasons why the hemo is one of the reasons why hemoglobin will be high okay okay that would be one of the reasons why the hemoglobin will be high okay and that can affect the mcv hematocrit remember that mcv hematocrit they are also measuring red blood cell okay so once it is high it will also affect them from being high it will also affect them to make them to be high so once there is polycythemia okay therefore it will increase these parameters increase red blood cell increase hematocrit okay so because the red cell is high they all need to measure accordingly does that make sense now i don't know if you have heard about some people who live in high altitude okay so in that high altitude even some people that smokes okay that will affect the level of oxygen because at that high uh, high altitude okay where there's no much oxygen that will affect the person does it does not mean that the person does not have enough red cell it's just that there's no much oxygen okay because of that place the person is or is living okay what then will happen because the body does not know the body the bone marrow determine how much red blood cell is going to make or how often it will make the red blood cell depending on the oxygen so oxygen is a strong indication to determine if more uh, red blood cell will be made or not because remember hemoglobin binding is on the surface of the red blood cell 
And if the hemoglobin is on the surface of the red blood cell, it is the hemoglobin that binds the oxygen. So if there is low oxygen, the system will think there's low hemoglobin. And if there's low hemoglobin, that means there's low red blood cell. You see it now? So because the system thinks there is low oxygen, it will shoot red blood cell production against polycythemia. Therefore, it will shoot amount of the red blood cell, sorry, it will shoot the amount of the hemoglobin and that is where the hemoglobin is high. And this is commonly in people who live in high altitude, okay? And also people who smoke. Now, let me also take that a little bit different, okay? Remember that all these parameters that you mentioned here, they are all measuring red blood cell. That is why it's called red blood cell indices. I did told you guys that high MCV could also be due to liver disease and kidney disease. So how will liver disease and kidney disease affect this? It will. It will affect it because, you know, from the liver, you can get erythropoietin, okay? And this erythropoietin secretion, okay, will help, okay, in producing, um, like, you know, stimulating the red blood cell to produce enough of this very red blood cell. Therefore, if there is liver disease, okay, or even kidney disease, it's going to affect the red blood cell production. And because it's going to affect red blood cell production, the bone marrow will be stressed. Right? Okay, what it then mean that there is going to be low oxygen, and if there is low oxygen because of, you know, there's, you know, a liver disease or kidney disease, so that has affected erythropoietin, okay, so there's going to be less oxygen. And when there's a less oxygen, that will stress the bone marrow. And the bone marrow does not understand, then it's trying to like, say, I need, so the body is asking, there's less oxygen, there's less oxygen, then this will then lead to the overproduction, you know, because the bone marrow will continue to produce these very um, red blood cells. And of course, it will lead to a lot of immature red blood cells, and they can't do much. And again, the red blood cells will continue to produce it, and that will lead to high red blood cells, even though they are not mature, they can't do much, okay? So, these are the things I want you guys to, you know, I want you to think about, okay? Another thing you can think about, remember that hematocrit as well could also be due to liver disease, okay? And that is also associated with what I've just explained to you. So, once there's a chronic disease in the liver or kidney, and this kidney and liver, they produce, you know, this very protein that help for the production of the red blood cell, it's going to stress the bone marrow. And once it stressed the bone marrow, the bone marrow, not really knowing what is going on, will be stressed. And in trying to compensate the situation, will start making a lot of the red blood cell. And once it's making a lot of the red blood cells, okay, and, and that red blood cell is making, because nothing is now regulating it. Remember that when erythropoietin is secreted, then it can make red blood cell. When there's a feedback mechanism to say stop, erythropoietin, stop, okay, then it can stop. But a situation whereby, okay you look at it erythropoietin now is affected okay then there's no much regulation and the bone marrow for some reasons the body is now saying there's low oxygen and they, they, that will lead to the high production of the red blood cell what could make red blood cell to be high you need to know that if red blood cell is high that means there's no much oxygen in the system and if there's no much oxygen in the system that means then that will make the bone marrow to produce high more of red blood cell and that will make it to be high if the hematocrit is high or mcv is high it means liver disease or kidney disease okay even heart condition like even lung condition in terms of hematocrit okay you know when there's a lung condition or heart condition that can also affect the production of the red blood cell remember when you breathe in oxygen it goes through the lungs okay so if there's a heart condition or there's a lung condition i remember that it is your heart that have to you know push out this very oxygen being that have gone through your nose to the lungs so then you get to the system and the heart have to circulate this very uh, oxygen so that's why i remember about oxygenated and deoxygenated blood okay so the heart plays a role with that so if there's a heart condition or or lung condition that again will affect the red blood cell. So therefore, in summary, if the MCV is high, and also red blood cell is high, hematocrit is high, okay, and um, it could be due to polycythemia, which is commonly seen in people who are living in high altitude, where there's low oxygen, okay, 
and also it could be due to people who are smoking because that again will affect the lungs don't forget that then another thing is that it could be then be due to a uh, megaloblastic or no megaloblastic remember that this folate deficiency or vitamin B12 deficiency, we over, because they play a role, even GCPD, they play a role in the performance of the red blood cell. Okay, they play a role in the red blood cell being matured. So if they are deficient, it will affect red blood cell being matured, and that will stress the bone marrow to produce more of the red blood cell. You see it now. So that is how. Uh, megaloblastic comes in while under no megaloblastic you're looking at kidney disease and liver diseases okay even all that disease in terms of let me also join it with hematocrit like lung disease okay or heart condition these things will affect the red blood cell production why because in kidney and liver disease don't forget that erythropoietin is produced there so if that affects the erythropoietin production then that will overall affect how the bone marrow will behave in trying to compensate the red blood cell production okay and that again will shoot the red cells high okay and of course once the red blood cell is high don't forget then that will also affect the mcv okay now another thing in terms of the lungs or heart condition which can be mainly associated with maybe you know high hematocrit as the case may be okay that again will affect the red blood cell production okay and of course affect the mcv as well so they are all related okay that will affect it and how can it affect it because when you breathe in oxygen it goes through the lung so if there's a problem with the lung that will affect that oxygen bone marrow does not know and it will think there's low oxygen in the system and then that would make it to continue to produce red blood cell okay now if this if there's a heart problem or heart condition where even if the oxygen has been trapped from the bone from if, even if the oxygen has been trapped from the lung but the heart is finding it difficult to circulate to you know to circulate this very oxygen the bone marrow may not know will not know and then that will lead to the high production of the red blood cell so they put mcv first but i will answer the question using red blood cell because if mcv is high hematocrit is high red blood cell is high hemoglobin is high turn it the other way around what could make red blood cell to be high because they are all measuring all these other parameters whether it is mcv whether it is hematocrit whether it is um hemoglobin they are all measuring red blood cell and that is why they are called red cell indices i hope i've answered your question um sandra hopefully i've answered your question but if you think maybe um there is more that i need to explain please do let me know thank you very much you know um you guys till i come back away again bye bye